Scientists are uncovering evidence that a small group of American island volcanoes are sitting on top of a massive supervolcano that can cause global catastrophes if it ever erupted. Here are the details. National Geographic reports that a group of volcanoes in the Aleutian Islands has all the makings of potentially being part of one big supervolcano, around the same size as the massive Yellowstone caldera in Wyoming. In a study presented to the American Geophysics Union by a team of Earth scientists led by John Power of the U.S. Geological Survey, the scientists showed evidence that points to the strong possibility that the six volcanoes collected in an Aleutian Island group called the Islands of the Four Mountains are actually standing on the edges of one massive caldera. A caldera is a large bowl-shaped depression that is left behind after a massive reservoir of magma suddenly empties and the overlying ground collapses. The scientists say they are uncovering evidence of such a large bowl under the ocean, as well as rock samples and undersea ridges that indicate a cataclysmic volcanic eruption did very possibly cause the depression that rings the six active volcanoes of the island group. Researchers also pointed at the fact that the high and sustained emission of sulfur dioxide from the group's central volcano and the composition of volcanic gases from the six volcanoes also suggest a shared connection to a larger magma source. Did a volcanic eruption seal the Roman Republic's fate? Here's what you need to know. According to new research, a powerful volcanic eruption in modern-day Alaska around 44 BC may have contributed to the Roman Republic's downfall on the other side of the globe. This study was published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The eruption left a 10-kilometer-wide crater in Mount Okmok that survives to this day. The research team, led by Joe McConnell of Desert Research Institute, said in a news release, The event likely caused destabilizing environmental changes that paved the way for the imperial system after Julius Caesar was killed. According to the team, the estimated time of the volcano's eruption, which would have led to climate altering levels of fallout coincided with a period of extreme cold, crop failures and famines in the written records. The researchers also speculated that the same eruption also brought down the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Scientists used various materials to date the eruption, including tree ring-based climate records from Scandinavia and the volcanic remains called tephra from the Arctic ice. The climate records and tephra both supported the hypothesis of an eruption in Alaska. Writing in the news release, Oxford University archaeologist Andrew Wilson said, Reduced crop yields would have worsened supply shortages during the political upheavals of the time. Desert Research Institute hydrologist and lead researcher Joe McConnell said he was fascinated to learn how interconnected the world was even 2,000 years ago. Scientists have pieced together huge new details about structures hidden below Earth's surface. Here's what you need to know. A massive subterranean tree moving lava up to the Earth's surface could, in millions of years, cause the disintegration of Africa, according to a study in the Nature Geoscience Journal. Quantum Magazine explains that most often volcanoes' existences are explained by tectonic plate boundaries interacting with each other in a variety of different directions. However, mantle plumes, defined by Science Daily as upwellings of abnormally hot rock within the Earth's mantle, can also form volcanoes as tectonic plates pass over them like marshmallows over a campfire. And the new study fills in previously simplistic ideas about plumes via the aforementioned subterranean tree, which extends 3,000 kilometers between East Africa and Réunion, a French island in the western Indian Ocean. This plume may have already spent 120 million years dragging Australia away from India and Antarctica, Madagascar from Africa, and the Seychelles from India. But the new map of its branches suggests it could one day contribute to East Africa splitting off from the rest of the continent and, beyond that, produce cataclysmic eruptions from below South Africa that have apocalyptic consequences. The study actually adds brilliant detail to the theory of plumes that has been decades in the making. Hawaii, an archipelago made up of giant volcanoes despite the fact that it's not on any plate boundary, initially put scientists onto the fact that the interaction of tectonic plates could not fully account for the existence of volcanoes, according to Quanta magazine, with geophysicist John Tuzo Wilson speculating in 1963 that volcanic chains like these were made by tectonic plates drifting over stationary hotspots in the Earth's mantle. Then, in 1971, geophysicist William Jason Morgan suggested that these hot spots were caused by plumes of particularly hot material rising from the lower mantle. 
And from there, geophysicists calculated that plumes are around 200 degrees Celsius hotter than the standard parts of the Earth's mantle, and that when they reach the bottom of tectonic plates, their heat melts their surroundings, creating magma. They also even figured out that plumes can carry mantle material upwards, which feeds extra magma into the crust, which combines with the previous effect to explain most intraplate volcanoes. To help fill in the bones of that theory with an actual 3D model of one plume, the giant subterranean tree, which starts 2,900 kilometers below the Earth's surface, scientists use measurements of seismic waves emanating from earthquakes, working with the fact that as those waves pass through geologic bodies, those bodies alter the wave's speed and trajectory. Interestingly, this technique was used previously to discover two giant blobs, chemically distinct from the rocks that surround them, within the Earth's mantle, and many of the superheated plumes we've been discussing here today are believed to be rooted to these blobs, suggesting they play some kind of role in their formation, according to one geophysicist who spoke to Quanta magazine. The origin of the blobs themselves is still contested, with some labeling them as defunct tectonic plate slabs and others labeling them as the dissected corpse of Thea, a Mars-sized planet that collided with the early Earth, resulting in the creation of the Moon. Some scientists now even believe that Earth and Thea collided twice, one hit-and-run incident followed by a second total wipeout that formed the Moon. But whatever their origin, the result is that we've now got giant plumes sprouting out of them causing volcanic activity, and we're living the evidence of them even if we can't see them. In Hawaii right now, for instance, Kilauea, one of the most active volcanoes in the world, is erupting again, having been promising to do so for some time. In August, scientists monitoring it raised alert levels in response to a series of earthquakes and ground swelling at the site, which can be an indication that it will soon expel lava. Though the chances of an eruption then appeared to recede, the Hawaii Tribune reports that Kilauea eventually did begin to erupt on September 29th, sustaining lava fountain heights of 10 to 15 meters this Tuesday, with some lava rising to heights of up to 30 meters, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Obviously, no one's that worried about any of this because it's all pretty familiar territory for our planet. For the most part, the fact that Kilauea erupts so often makes it easier to deal with than less predictable phenomena. So its regular eruptions are more like quirks than disasters. In December, Kilauea erupted at the crater, creating a lava lake containing enough lava to fill 10 Hoover dams. But the videos of Kilauea's eruptions make it look more like a slow-rising bubble bath than the end of the world. The slow creep of the giant subterranean tree that will eventually swallow South Africa probably fits into that kind of category too. Alongside the fact that the Earth's crust is warping incrementally, millimeter by millimeter, because of the new ice we've melted, and the fact that Earth's core is growing lopsided because more heat is being released on one side than the other. In the urgency stakes, it's certainly not to be put alongside the fact that Antarctica is at the risk of a chain reaction collapse, or the fact that thinning ice melange, the glue that holds ice sheets together, means scientists believe we might have to revise up our estimates of how quickly ice melting is going to reach catastrophic levels. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.